I love playing around with these little Raspberry Pi computers which can hook up with a ribbon cable to little camera modules that are easy to control from the computer. And when I filmed my Mouse Gap Squeezer Teaser Machine video a year and a half ago, I bought uh, this camera module with a slightly longer focal length lens that's easy to focus adjust. Unfortunately, the camera board for this one is one without the infrared cutoff filter, which makes this unusable with daylight. So I thought maybe I can take this lens and use it with one of these boards with a lens removed because I've already got this one and there's no lens on this one anymore because trying to adjust the focus on that lens I accidentally buggered it up because I didn't know about uh, these focus adjusting tools which make it relatively doable. So I've got uh, a sensor module and I want to put this lens on there but uh, I need a mount for it. A wooden mount that fits on front of here like that. And in fact, I already made one of these, except this one isn't quite good enough because the lens kind of screws into this hole in the wood here, but uh, it's too easy to get that lens aimed off just a little bit because the hole in here isn't quite deep enough. So I'm gonna make another one and film it. So from previous experiments, I know that this particular drill gets the closest fit to uh, this screw thread here. So the lens fits in here like this, and I just need to mount the camera module on the back like so. Which means I need to make cutouts for the corners of the module plus the connectors and some components on the board. Yeah, a little bit of filing was enough to accommodate the corners of this thing here. Now I just need to make room for this connector and that bit there. Ah, so this now fits on here almost flat, except for uh, these components right here. So I have to make another indentation to accommodate those. That now fits on perfectly flush. Now I need locations for the mounting holes. Now the fit for my lens is actually a bit loose, so I can just pull it straight out. So I figure maybe I should have some kind of uh, locking screw to clamp it in from the top. Now I'm just going to knurl that screw a little bit to make it easier to grab by hand. Oh, that worked better than I thought it would. When putting together something like this, I always have the hope that I haven't somehow destroyed the uh, camera module. And I gotta make sure the uh, camera is in the middle of the hole. If it's misaligned, it's not gonna take very good pictures. Now the lens in here. And now mounting this on the stick. So the cool thing is these little Raspberry Pi computers, they're about as powerful as PCs were 15 years ago. And now to uh, try out the camera module, I'll just uh, run the command to get that. And I'm using full preview to get uh, the full screen on there and full resolution. And you can see it's quite out of focus. Um, so let's start uh, tweaking that. And there's focus and now let's lock that in and yeah now it doesn't move very well anymore there so there's no sign of uh, dirt on the sensor because I would see little specks on here but I do seem to have a fair bit of lens flare so it's likely that this lens is a little bit dirty and I'll just have to take it out and clean it Manually focusing a lens is just very satisfying. I really miss that about uh, SLR photography. 
Now, it would be very tempting to produce a lens holder that holds an old 35mm SLR lens in front of uh, that sensor, and that would produce super duper telephoto, but the results wouldn't be optimal because the, uh, these lenses are designed to make an image that's about 36mm wide, and the sensor here is about 4mm wide, which means you'd be taking one ninth of the image, and these lenses just aren't that sharp to produce a lot of detail when you're blowing up that small an area. So the results wouldn't be optimal. And even if I took the lens from a crappy old digital camera, even the sensors in this one is about twice as wide as it is in this one. And again, I don't think the results would be optimal. But it is nice to have a lens on the Raspberry Pi that uh, can focus very closely. And if you want to get different lenses for that, uh, this lens here is a 12 millimeter. I think it's called an S-mount. So you can order S-mount lenses online, and these are all meant for very small sensors. And then make your own mount like this. So uh, this was a uh, very small project, but uh, with a new baby in the house, that's about the size of projects I can tackle right now.